To me, art in a way could inspire the firms, the organizational cultures and management by, let us say, stating the natural rights uh, of doing what is important. Because uh, the concept of importance uh, is in a way a bit dichotomic to within, inside the firm. I can do what is important to me, but it always had to uh, relate to what is important to the firm. The artist is a person who, 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 uh, who has a, a very, let us say, uncompromising uh, way to say that what is important to me is important to the world, and what is important to the world is important to me. Uh, and the artist wouldn't make this distinction. Mm -hmm. That's a prerogative and also a way of arrogance, of course, but it's a, it, it suggests a new life form and a new way of, uh, of coping with responsibility towards yourself. Yeah, I think that's also a very good description because art is in itself not totalitarian. I think they can allow them, artists can allow them, themselves the freedom of saying this because they don't pretend that this is an all-encompassing view of the entire world. This is what I find interesting right now and I want to draw your attention to this because of this and uh, that. And I think, frankly, I'm, I'm somehow surprised when I look at a lot of companies today uh, which have invested huge amounts of money in uh, artworks uh, which they don't use in their, in their daily business. Uh, they have uh, acquired uh, important art collections uh, which they don't use. Uh, somehow, I, I, I don't understand, you know, why, why, do, why, do, why, don't they, why don't they talk about a painting or an artwork uh, at, at the board meetings, for instance? Mm -hmm. I, I think that would be really an interesting, much more interesting than most board meetings I have been to. Um, and, and I think it would reveal lots of perspectives on, on the stuff they have to make decisions about anyway. So I think what, when art is, and, and art is not uh, sort of opposed to being instrumental to, to something, art is there to provide the framework for, for a discussion, for a reflection. And I think, uh, I think it could stimulate uh, those kind of discussions. I think uh, modern management or leadership, they really want uh, responsibility on behalf of the uh, employees. And I think uh, the artist is, is the best paradigm actually of a person who is extremely self-responsible. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, absolutely. I, I, I've, I've been working with professional artists for, for the last 20 years and they, they are extremely responsible towards their own practice, towards their audiences, towards the people who provide them with the, fund, the necessary funding, and towards uh, the, the physical environment they are in. I have never experienced uh, irresponsible uh, or purposely irresponsible artists. Obviously, I have experienced lots of artists who have uh, an artistic practice, which is to, uh, say, play with the idea of responsibility. Um, but that is a, a completely different yeah. thing. Uh, that, then it, it, it turns into an artistic practice and obviously it takes a certain experience to, uh, to find ways to deal with that. But I think that is something that managers and leaders in organizations could also learn a lot from. Uh, you know, um, and I think that, well, now talking about it, I think that that's a brilliant idea actually. You know, you can really learn a lot from yeah. that. To play with the concept of responsibility, yes. in order not, in order to uh, let us say relieve it from uh, the tensions uh, of over responsibility to the firm, uh, and and also make it sort of create create creative uh, responsibility. But the crux is, or the problem is, uh, is as I see it, uh, that artists very often ha have their own project, own my project, and. Uh, and uh, when they go into the, uh, the surroundings or the context of the firm, uh, they cannot have their own project anymore. What do you say to that? Well, I do understand that way of seeing it. And I do understand that somehow uh, this, this is a difficulty for, for managers. I think uh, somehow, again, the dichotomy is, some, is slightly construed in the sense that uh, the way I see uh, production of knowledge, especially in knowledge intensive companies nowadays, uh, products uh, somehow uh, 
had to be taken by someone to be carried onwards. So I think that there is a there is a sender, there, there is a um, you know, new knowledge intensive products don't fall from the sky as I see. They are they are constructed by someone, they are produced by someone, and this is often a group of people. Uh, and uh, and I think they if you ask these people, I, I would probably I would assume that they, they they hang on to their own products as much as artists do. If you go and ask uh, the the top uh, physicians, for instance, in mm. say Novo Nordisk, and ask them, do you have do you have a relationship with the last version of uh, this or that product? I I I would tend to believe that the, that these uh, uh, professionals they have a very close relationship to the to the stuff they are about to develop. And I think uh, artists think about their products in the same way that they, they need to because they need to engage themselves uh, very intensively into these products and they need to somehow uh, put everything they have and everything they can get into the production of these products. So I think they invest a lot and therefore they also have a uh, responsibility towards the product and they also have a certain amount of ownership. And uh, funnily enough, you know, uh, taking ownership to say a company's uh, uh, vision or mission uh, has been a long discussion in organizational studies for the last many many years and here you have a situation where actually people do tend to own what they do already so I think it's somehow construed also mm. uh, in let a me, certain way. Let me keep <laughs> ask you uh, the final question. Uh, then, in a way, I think, uh, or I associate uh, that uh, really to play with responsibility is actually to uh, to be daring enough uh, to venture sharing and generosity. What do you say? I think that's a beautiful description. I, I couldn't describe it any any better myself. I think, uh, for instance, I've been working quite a lot with uh, with. Uh, Artist in the field of, of uh, New Circus or Nouveau Cirque, uh, uh, and I think these they are phenomenal people to work with because obviously their practice is to um, to play around with the with the notion of responsibility, and at the same time they are incredibly they are unbelievably responsible towards themselves and towards the persons they work with because somehow they literally have another person's life in their hands and uh, all their own life in their own hands. And um, I think it's amazing to see how they deal with that situation. And I think a lot of stuff could be learned from that to, to deal with in, 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 in the world of business, for instance. Thank you, Søren Friesen Müller.